Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you what to do with your leftover turkey. If for some reason you don't have any leftover turkey, you can make this with chicken or turkey breast. So I'm super excited because these empanadas are delicious. To your all-purpose flour, you're going to add your baking powder and your pinch of turmeric. Salt, sugar, paprika, and onion powder. Give that a good mix. And if you guys want a little bit of a slower version for the empanadas, I'll put the link in the description area where I did the uh, apple empanadas, the sweet ones, so that way you guys can get more of a detailed uh, recipe for your empanada dough if you're having a difficult time. I'm gonna add my egg. And now I'm gonna add my butter and my butter shortening. You can use regular shortening as well for this, but I like this particular blend for uh, the empanadas. So all we're gonna do is incorporate this butter into our dough, okay? You can just put this over your counter, clean up your counter and do it that way, but this is easier for me to show you guys. But at home, you don't need the bowl. It's a lot easier without it. Incorporate that uh, shortening butter, just like you would the tortillas when you add the lard, like I showed you guys, that's the same way we're doing here, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's already starting to smell delicious. Butter does make everything better, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. It sure does, especially during the holidays. I usually don't do New Year resolution, especially not to lose weight, but mm -hmm. I think this year I'm probably gonna have to kick it off in January with you. <laughs> Finally, I've been waiting so many years for this moment. I never do, but this year I, I'm inspired to start with you guys so that way we work towards the holidays and when the holidays come we just stay fresh, slim, and we can eat without feeling guilty, right? So I've been eating without feeling guilty. Yeah, I need to add exercise to my resolution. You know, feeling guilty about things that you're <laughs> doing will make you stress out and gain weight, so I haven't been stressing out. You see how beautiful that looks? Yes. This part smells divine. Okay, friends, so as I mentioned before, I have the measurement for your water. I put a few ice cubes in here, and I'm going to add it gradually just because sometimes, depending on the temperature, a lot of complications, your dough might need more or it might need a little bit less. So, What do you mean temperatures? Like if, humid, like if you're in a high something? altitude, if it's oh. a dry area, those type of things. So just add it gradually until you hydrate your well, it's hot in here, so you're what are we adjusting for? <laughs> Ooh, you're heating up this kitchen, girl. Ooh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Let me get this ice out of here. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. beautiful dough it sure is I have a busy house friends I have a busy house so if you guys hear some rattling I have a little puppy now <laughs> with boys it's it's fun I feel my dough a little dry it just needs a little help so I'm just gonna add maybe about a tablespoon at a time and see how that works for me okay yeah we're looking good all right, we're ready to knead for a little bit. My favorite part. A little dusting. Bring your dough and go to town. We're gonna need this, um, I think like three, four minutes, not too long. You'll start feeling the dough start getting soft and that's when you say we're ready. Those are going to be some good empanadas. You got that serious face. <laughs> yeah, girl. 
<laughs> get it. Needy, get it. <laughs> needing is needy, okay? <laughs> I know if you guys have your stand mixer, use it, but you guys know I like to she keep said it as sand, not sand. I said it right this time. Cool it. <laughs> Let me know if you need my help. I don't need your help. All I need you to do is make sure our friends get good angles with that camera. Because apparently I'm supposed to be spreading tamales and holding the camera. <laughs> well, you that did help. Impossible. Actually, off camera, you did help with the tamales, the remainder of them. So, <laughs> you're okay. I was like, what? I can't do that. Girl, sometimes I feel like certain people are going to scare you off to not come back on the channel and I get terrified. I really don't care. I'm here for you. Yay! Best sister ever. <laughs> Nobody can scare me off. I'm scared easily. All right. Well then, Cloud's here to stay. As my mom says, deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. I made a lot of good friends here on the channel. So, so I'm, have I. I'm grateful. I'll keep so coming back I. for for them, but I'm here to stay for you. Well, I don't think people realize that you do have a full time job outside of this, and you really work your way around so that you can make time to help me. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate that. Always and forever. Ooh. Each moment with you. Stephanie views on the road. <laughs> it's just like a dream to me. Ooh, get into it, guys. These empanadas will set you free. Ooh. You know, you just that's that's why you need to have that good music, the one that makes you feel romantic. People feel it in your food. All right. I'm nice and soft to where I need to be. Woo! Look at. Ooh, yeah. Listen, you're gonna feel like if you guys aren't listening to me already. Really? <laughs> Such a mom. <laughs> you guys are gonna feel the granules from the onion and the paprika. Don't worry about it. It's gonna taste delicious in here. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you don't wanna add any of that, you don't have to, but. You guys ask me to change it up for you guys often and you know I get bored easily, so. Woo! Yeah, I needed to catch my breath on that one. <laughs> now that you've kneaded your dough into a nice soft little ball, you're gonna put it in the refrigerator for 35 minutes to one hour, okay? The longer you have it in the refrigerator that it cools, uh, the easier it's gonna be to roll out and make our disc to make our empanada. So I'll see you guys when my dough's ready. My pan's on a medium heat. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of oil. and we're gonna saute our veggies, okay? If you have carrots and you like carrots, go ahead and add them. But you guys know my punky will have a fit right now. For those of you that are new to the channel, punky is my older son and he does have sensory processing disorder. That's the reason you see me um, not cook so traditionally, but yet traditionally, okay? <laughs> you gotta make it comfortable for your home. So I'm gonna saute our veggies about three to four minutes just until they soften up and uh, our onions become translucent, okay? It's been about three minutes. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and add our portion of turkey. That delicious turkey you made the other day still has me hypnotized. Yes, girl, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You guys can even see here that even though I made my turkey, it's still not dry. I think what uh, happens is that it's always difficult to like figure out how long am I keeping my turkey in there for, you know? Right. And then you end up keeping it in there like 20 extra minutes from what the time label tells you and then you're stuck with the dry turkey. Yep, it's over. <laughs> Not to worry, I taught you guys how to make gravy. Yeah. It's always nerve wracking to teach somebody how you make turkey because somebody always has an opinion about it. Yeah. But I've never gotten sick out of the way that I make turkey. So. Yeah. I think everybody has like a way of making it, but it's such a difficult, something so simple can be so difficult. To yeah, it, it really can. Just like tortillas, either you do or you don't, or you practice and practice. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our chicken uh, bouillon. Friends, if you guys ended up getting a really gamey turkey or, um, you know when they over freeze it for two seasons, your turkey, if you got one of those and the flavor didn't come through, go ahead and add your chicken bouillon. If your turkey's flavor is amazing, you don't need to. But for me, you guys know I'm a, I'm a chicken bouillon junkie. <laughs> so go ahead and add some pepper. Mm. 
Give that a good stir. And now we're gonna add a few tablespoons of butter. So it's gonna be either one or two, depends on how much you're willing to consume, okay? Both, one or two is gonna be great for this. And for this particular uh, filling, you don't wanna make it too soupy or too, too thick, okay? Just a little bit. And we're only gonna be adding about a tablespoon or two of the gravy, okay? Once you've stirred in your uh, gravy, you're gonna add your potatoes. You notice my potatoes are pre-cooked. All I did was boil them about 10, 10, 12 minutes if you go over, they're gonna turn mushy, but I want them to keep this square in the empanada. And if I were to have boiled them too much, it wouldn't have uh, kept the square there for us, the structure of the potato that we wanna bite into. I know you guys are already thinking, Steph, where are the carbs? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Carbs on carbs. Yeah. My recommendation for you guys is that kids love cheese, men love cheese, we all love cheese. So if you wanna add your favorite cheese in here, perfect. It's gonna make it even better. All right, I'm gonna cook this about three to four minutes and I'll see you shortly. Okay, friends, it's been three minutes for me. This is all cooked and all the flavors have combined well with each other. I'm gonna put it into a bowl and I'll meet you guys on the island so we can start assembling our empanadas. So all I'm doing is I'm measuring out my my dough, but if you guys have a better um, better idea on how to do this part, go for it. Sometimes you can just roll it out and cut out your stuff with a cookie cutter, but this works for me. Okay, I've divided my dough into uh, 50 grams. It's going to be up to you, however you want to do it. And I'm just going to roll these out into little circles. You need more of an easier technique. I showed you guys how to do with the tortilla press on the empanada video, the sweet empanada video. Ooh, there we go. You don't want to roll them out too thin so that your uh, your filling doesn't tear through your empanada, okay? So for our house, it's either the flautas, the rolled tacos that we have for uh, leftovers or empanadas. Okay, press it down, then fold it in. You wanna make them nice and tight because if you're doing these by hand, it's a high possibility that it'll, they'll pop. I mean, it happens to me a lot, so. And then you can kind of decide if you want to give it your own decoration, which to me, it's a pain. I know the kids are helpful though. When you're making empanadas, you can just give them a fork and they can yeah seal them for you. I mean, oh, that's so pretty. If you're gonna sell them, obviously make them really pretty so that you can sell them. But like a little rope technique. Yeah, a little rope. So pretty. So we're just gonna continue to do this. Cloud, you want to come and help? Sure thing. Put Cloud to work. You guys want Cloud to work? She's going to come off camera, so we'll see you guys when we're ready. Why do I want to treat everything like tortillas? <laughs> do you, you know, do the same? Yeah, I do the same. Okay. It's because most of the recipes are the same thing, just a little different. May right? the spirit of our great-grandmother influence this tortilla making. <laughs> Sorry, empanada making uh, session. I got a horrible rodeo. What the heck? Here you go, honey. I'm is, telling you is that, that your, is that your uh, the reject? That's the reject, girl. Okay. Now, if you have that tia that makes empanadas for you, make sure you guys get her a little gift. These are a pain. Um, they're not my favorite to make. 
Okay, and then you want to poke a little hole so that it has somewhere to let out steam. Dip it in flour. Come back. I know, sometimes I forget to just dip it in flour and I end up doing my own thing. Oh, your empanadas are perfect. Your empanada human in the house. Woohoo! <laughs> I retire making empanadas. Stop it. I summoned our great grandmother's energy, girl. Come to me. Imagine if some paranormal activity in this kitchen right now. Cállate. <laughs> I Why would love it. Take me out. I would hug you, girl. Well, I don't think I was my. Está mi empanadita, and I'm getting back to work. Woo. Goodbye. There I don't know. think I was my um, great grandmother's favorite. None of us were. <laughs> no, no, we weren't. Well, you and I weren't just because we were out of control. It's because we weren't born men, that's why. Yep, part, that's part of it. She loved us, but not like the men in the family. We've always been known as the rambunctious sisters. We that's right. Intentionally, we just like to have fun. This is the way we have fun. Mother, thank you for putting up with our unique energy. <laughs> Shout out to my mother for dealing with us. And shout out to all of our friends here on the channel, on the Views Club, all our bells, all of you for encouraging us to be on our best behavior. <laughs> we do our best, you guys. All right. Okay, friends, I know it's a little messy here, but these right here, these are going to be baked, okay? They're going to be baked in the oven, and the other half, we're going to fry up. Oh, that one busted a little bit. And in order to get that shininess on your empanada. Shine bright like a diamond. That's you right. Shine, shine just shine. like you guys because I don't shine if you don't shine. That's right. There you go. We're going to put a little bit of an egg wash. Okay. Wow, look at that rope work. Yeah. Incredible. Whoever made that. Girl, one. it is Norteña. You got that <laughs> rope done well. I got, I got work to do. Like I said, I'll tell you guys what I'm great at and empanadas, the flavors there, but my rolling. ¿Dónde están los vaqueros? <laughs> yeah, I need, I need, uh, I need Jeffrey to put his boots on and, and rope it up. <laughs> All right, these are going in the oven and we're going to continue to prepare the, the rest of them. Same exact way. Okay, friends, all I'm doing here is warming up the gravy that I showed you guys how to make on the turkey video. I have some more left over, and that's what we're warming up here. You guys already know what we're going to do. We're going to dip our empanadas in this delicious gravy. So this is set. Now let's go ahead and begin frying. Okay, so I'm frying at 375 degrees, and I'm just going to place them in here slightly just so it doesn't stick. Be careful at home if you're frying. If you guys need help with frying, I'll post a few videos on the description area where I fry a lot. And how to clean your oil. And how to clean your oil. Okay. Love it. I'm going to get a good fry in there before I can add my other one. So that should take about two and a half to three minutes to fry. Make sure that when you're folding the sides that you don't make them too, too thick or else it's going to take a little longer to fry uh, those particular parts. You'll notice that once they're cooked, they kind of float in your oil. Okay. Um, so they're, you're going to want them as gold as you'd like. If you like them a little bit more burnt, just cook them to the consistency you like. For me, these are ready and that took about three and a half minutes. Beautiful. I just want you to know you're my favorite empanada. Yeah. You know, seasoning. Oh, hey, we're so close. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> seasoning your dough really makes a difference for your empanadas, and a lot of people just that little salt. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play with it. That's right. Okay, friends. So this is our baked empanada, and this is gonna be your fried empanada. It's gonna be up to you what you wanna do. But for this particular recipe, I think 
the fried is just spectacular. You know, you're gonna you're gonna indulge for Thanksgiving. Might as well do it for the leftovers, mm -hmm. right? So, I prefer this one for this particular recipe, but you can do both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Ta-da! This smells so so good. Delicious. So now, what you want to do? Do so you want to dip it into your gravy? That's what this is all about. It's hot, don't burn yourselves. This is some kind of comfort food. That's what it feels like. Yes, I'm all smiles because it smells good. It smells, still smells like Thanksgiving. And you guys know, bread <laughs> and gravy is delicious. Raja! <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of my chili oil. Mm. Okay. I might start a new addiction for you guys. But it's so worth it. The flakiness you get from the fried empanada it's soft and it has a good little crisp, a golden crisp to it. Ooh, it's so delicious. And you can taste the turkey. You can taste the subtleness of the celery and everything combined together is just divine. I think you guys are gonna love this one and after you try it, come back and let me know. Dip it in the gravy again, that was my favorite part. Show us. Girl, let me get a bigger piece, okay? Mmm. It's like holiday season and I wanna dip everything. The chili oil recipe will be in the description area. If you guys haven't tried it, you gotta. It's delicious. Mmm. Amazing. Yes. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did cooking these empanadas. They are delicious. I highly recommend you guys try them for leftovers, especially because I, you do have those family members that are like, I don't want turkey the next day. I mean... Just switch it up for them and they're gonna be asking you and expecting that every single year. So that's the way that I get my family to come and hang out with me. We make empanadas or we make rolled tacos and we continue to celebrate with family. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, adios.